Hey Ketosis Mom followers and Amazon shoppers. Today I'm going to be trying something a little different. This is a dermaplaning device from Stacked Skincare. If you've never heard of this before, this is a process that is basically to take off all the dead skin layer that's on the very tip top of your skin and any type of peach fuzz that might be there as well. I have used other plastic dermaplaning devices before but never one that is as nice as this one is. I had seen a lot of different reviews on this, a lot of different social media on this specific device and how well it performed. So I wanted to give it a shot aside from the plastic ones that I already had because I'm just not really a big fan of those. I haven't really seen great results and I just don't think that they did a great job. So this one so far just straight off the bat it has some weight to it. It almost feels and looks like a scalpel that they will use when they're doing surgeries. And so I started gently. It does say to hold it at about a 45 degree angle while gently kind of it swooping over the top of your skin. Overall, I was pretty amazed at how much dead skin was coming off of my face. With the plastic ones that I was using, I was really just getting like a weird layer of thin peach fuzz off of my face. And I was never really getting what I would consider to be the dead skin cells off of there. Whereas with this device, I am. What I find even slightly crazier is that I already use things like glycolic acid on my skin that is supposed to try to basically eat that top layer of dead skin cells off. And I wash my face with that on a daily basis. So I really was thinking maybe with the previous dermaplaning that I was doing with the plastic pieces, maybe I just wasn't getting anything because my skincare was already taking care of that. So this is proving that theory wrong in the fact that maybe I was just using the wrong dermaplaning device. Overall, this was really super easy to do. You do have to be very careful as you're doing it because you do not want to cut yourself. And I kind of learned the hard way that you also want to have something able to catch all of this as it's coming off. I was not expecting to have a whole lot come off, so I was not, you know, planning on having to collect any of this. And then each time it was falling down, I was having to go and try to find it so that I don't have just, you know, weird little hairs and dead skin cells flying all around my bathroom. I remember years ago there was a girl that I used to watch all of her videos all the time and she would talk about how she, you know, in essence, shaved her face is what this is. You're taking a blade to your face to get all this dead skin off because she felt like it made her skincare soak in better. Uh, it made her skin overall and makeup go on smoother. And I just remember thinking, yeah, there's probably not that much of a difference. And I have to say that my thinking was absolutely 100% wrong because putting my skincare on now and feeling my face, it is smoother. I did cut myself right there, so be careful. It is smoother. My skincare soaked in better. And overall, in the next few days, my skin also continued to feel smoother and look better. And my makeup was going on much smoother as well.